Welcome to Frank Cameron Presents. I just want to tell you at this moment that in our wonderful jackpot, we have $24,660, and you can keep those computers humming today. Meanwhile, <clears throat> I'm going to talk to Andrew Spurvey. Let me tell you who Andrew is, first of all. Uh, he's a um, company and the title... Uh, I'm, the title. I'm, re I'm reading my own stuff here. Um, Chief Marketing Officer for QuickContractors.com, Incorporated. And uh, I'm going to turn your mic on, Andrew, and you're okay? Nice to meet you. Hey, Andrew. nice to meet you, buddy. Pleasure. <clears throat> We're going to talk about, um, well, I don't know whether it's one of my favorite topics, but I'm a big fan of uh, solar power. I'm a big fan of wind power as well, and you probably are, are saying, oh, yeah, he's an environmentalist. Well, I wouldn't go that far because I'll leave the environmental things up to people like David Suzuki and, you know, people like that. Um, a great man. A, a great man, an absolutely great man. Knows he's got more knowledge tucked in his little finger than I have in my whole body. But um, anyway, let's talk about uh, quick contractors.com. Um, it was formed in 2004, grown to become Canada's largest residential skilled trades aggregated service network, that's a mouthful, uh, with over 5,000 contractors performing more than 3,500 in-home installations per day for big box retailers across North America, including the Home Depot. Lowe's, Rona, Ikea, Best Buy, The Brick, Leon's Furniture, and Bowflex Exercise Equipment, to name just a few. And if you've ever had a dishwasher, toilet, or an appliance purchased and installed through a major big box retailer anywhere in Canada in the last decade, Quick Contractors has been to your home. That's right. So, uh, it's recognized by both the Globe and Mail's Report on Business and Canadian Business Magazine as one of the fastest-growing companies in Canada for 10 years in a row now. It also, rather noteworthy, uh, last year, world-renowned publication, The Financial Times, has recognized QuickContractors.com as one of the fastest-growing companies in North America. Uh, before we get... Uh, uh, to talk about the main focus, which, of course, is solar. Uh, tell us a bit about yourself, Andrew, and uh, a bit more about your company and your role in it. Sure. Uh, th thanks, Frank. That definitely was a mouthful for yeah. sure. When, when, some, <laughs> when someone asked me to tell, you know, to explain what our company is all about, I think I rather would take, you know, a lot more than a couple of sentences. Um, so yeah. I, I appreciate that. That was very generous of you. Well, uh, you, you could just point to the sun. Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> um, so I am a, a maritime red heart. I mean, my, my roots are in a place called Fox Harbor, uh, Placentia Bay in Newfoundland. Um, I grew up in Sudbury, Ontario myself. So I, I uh, however, you know, spent many summers uh, in uh, Fox Harbor there, uh, I don't know, for, for people that don't know where Placentia Bay is, well, or where Fox Harbor is, I don't know if you've heard of Argentia. There used to be an old U.S. naval base there. Um, the ferry actually goes to uh, uh, to Argentia there. The, the reason I'm told that the ferry, <coughs> excuse me, from uh, Nova Scotia goes to Argentia, that it's closer to St. John's uh, than um, uh, the other one. Right, and I think maybe the waters aren't as rough on that. And they're not as rough. That's right. right. They have more they have more sheltered coves, I guess. I don't know. I don't know what it is. But I haven't been to Argentia, but I've been to Newfoundland, been to Gander, been to St. John's, and so on. And I love Newfoundland. Uh, we have a lot of Newfoundlanders living in Nova Scotia, so I don't dare say anything about bad, bad about Newfoundland on the air. Right. Or, or they'll... <laughs> The hordes will will come and get me, but uh, really, um, 
So that's your um, background. Uh, and how did you get to do this, what you're doing? Uh, well, thanks uh, for asking that. I mean, it's a, we all have our own kind of journeys and paths in life. I mean, I, I've, I used to uh, work in retail where I would deal with customers on a retail floor, and I'm very, very passionate about that. And then uh, an opportunity surfaced uh, about 16 years ago uh, for me to go out into the field, actually, and start visiting homeowners at their home and uh, selling them products or, you know, doing consultations at the kitchen table. Um, always representing uh, big national brands, right? Uh, when you represent a national brand, uh, you know, you, along with that comes the credibility, but also the responsibility to represent correctly and, you know, do the customer right uh, every time because you have to protect both the customer and the brand. So, I bet, uh, though, I bet that uh, you learned a lot doing that, didn't you? I, I did. Uh, Admit it. <laughs> well, when, when you get into big volumes like us, like you had mentioned there, we're doing about 3,500 jobs a, a day. Uh, that would mean, you know, we're going into 3,500 homes a day. And so that means that not all of the jobs are going to be smooth. So, for example, if we have, you know, let's say a 99% satisfaction rate for the day, that still means we've got 35 customers who didn't uh, get satisfied, which is, you know, when you think about it, it's a pretty big number. And, of course, those customers will call in. And there's always things that happen in life, Frank, like someone's uh, wife's water just broke. He needs to go to the hospital. Someone, they've got a flat tire now and they're going to be late or, you know, they got into a car accident and that sort of thing. So. In in the services in industry, sometimes the customer isn't that forgiving, especially when you're talking about a national brand. And um, so, you know, part of my job that I uh, truly love is to actually take those complaints and listen to the customer, you know, let it all out, and I'll, I'll, I'll stay quiet and just let, let them tell me everything. And I kind of pride myself on, you know, de-escalating the, the feelings of that customer and then kind of bringing them back, saying, you know, the world isn't coming to an end. We're still here. You know, I'm, if you give me a chance, I will still take care of you. And so, uh, yeah, it's a good feeling to uh, to uh, do that. Now, mind you, uh, I don't recommend someone taking complaints, uh, you know, eight hours a day, uh, every day. And then you but, have to have a real complaint department. <laughs> it's it's true, yeah, really. It's true. No. Yes, yes. Um, but I'm and, I'm quite good at it. I apologize for uh, and, patting and myself on the back. There. Well, frankly, I don't. I think you're uh, you're just in our initial meeting. Uh, I said, now here's a really good guy, and I know he's he does well at what he does, and um, I. Um, you could prove me wrong if you like, but don't 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 even try. Uh, anyway, but seriously, um, I think that um, today in this year of 2020, I know we've got the COVID and uh, we're they're working on the vaccine and all that kind of thing. But you know, your house still needs heating. Your um, a power grid needs to be your own power. Um, if you're uh, generating your own power, and I say generate because you don't use a generator, the generator is 90 some million miles away, but but it works. And um, I think that um, if we were doing this, mind you, we've been doing this for a while, though, haven't we, Andrew? I mean, uh, solar power has been around for a while. Well, sure. If, if you remember um, back in the 70s, they came out with those solar-powered calculators. Yes. Yeah, and I, right. uh, I should have refreshed on the notes a little bit, but I'm pretty sure it was a company like Sharp or um, Texas Instruments. One of the biggies, yeah. And uh, I remember you know, being young and being fascinated by uh, a calculator that doesn't need batteries. Yeah. Just fascinated by so, it. So, does it get the power? Look up, way up, uh, and that's that's really um, it. It's something that makes sense, but it's also something that people can use. It's it's a utility. It's um, you know it's, it's it it uh, and they may uh, have they didn't have electric power back in the uh, dark ages or the old age. The, the the industrial revolution I think started and then it just went from there. But um, to 
power something with the sun or the wind is something that is so natural. <laughs> really, it isn't funny. It's so natural. And um, some people are very uh, intelligent when it comes to saying, what if we, and here we are today, and you're powering, I don't know, homes. By the way, um, you're working in, in this instance to, uh, with, um, with a big store. Yes. And that's Home Depot. It is, yes. Okay. Now, what exactly do you do for Home Depot? I, maybe we should go back even further right. and say Home Depot uh, and there are various um, companies that are very interested in solar power and all the all the other things that and if they can be of service to people they just hire you and you do the work is that the idea or right so to give you a bit of background uh, so we're uh, a third party company that we do uh, installation services uh, for uh, Home Depot and other you know uh, big box retailers yeah. where if you walked into the store and you bought a, a dishwasher or, or you bought a toilet, um, dishwashers and, and toilets are, are not something that homeowners should really install themselves. No. Um, but, it, it, you know, of course, there's a lot of do-it-yourselfers out there. But, you know, with a, with a dishwasher, there's electricity going in. There's also plumbing. There's water going in and drain. And, you know, if, if you did it wrong and, and, you know, you left for the weekend and you come back to a big flood, yeah, uh, you 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 could be in for a challenge to fight the insurance company with your claim because, um, you know, oh, this was manufactured after you moved in. Where's the liability insurance? Where's the licensed person to do this? So, exactly. So, um, so we do these types of services uh, across Canada, and um, so, you know, in kind of nurturing that relationship for many many years now. Um, you know, the opportunity for solar uh, uh, panels uh, obviously is uh, amazing in, uh, in Nova Scotia and, and PEI. And so where the Home Depot uh, kind of positions itself is it's, it's a strong brand. The, 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 the province, you know, with its objectives and their energy plan and, you know, they're offering all these rebates, right, Frank? Um, yeah. uh, they, you know, they, they, they actually need a, a strong brand like that to kind of promote the service. So very specifically now, sorry to kind of ramble a little, but when it comes to the solar pa uh, panel program that, you know, um, you, you know, you can access through the Home Depot, the Home Depot is positioning itself with, uh, we call it like a referral. They connect you to a trusted pro that, you know, has been, uh, uh, verify, you know, all the proper licenses and, you know, all the references and that sort of thing. So I, I was actually the person who uh, awarded the contract uh, uh, to a company called Polaron Solar. And a fabulous company. I'll tell you, Frank, it was a five-year conversation to get to this point today. Really? That's a long cycle. It and is. It is. And just, um, you know, uh, some of us are able to handle those kind of long cycles to uh, get, you know, achieve an objective, and you know, I guess I'm one of those because here I am sitting to, here today, and I re really appreciate the opportunity to be here. Oh, hey, I'm glad to give it to you because I'm as interested in this as even our average uh, listener would be, because there are uh, guys, and I know uh, one. I'm not going to mention his name, but uh, he um, he decided he was going to save himself a lot of money, and so just as we were talking earlier, he he got a new toilet. And I said, so who's going to install it? Oh, I'm going to do it myself. I said, well, good luck, good luck with that. It only costs like $149 he, he to turned, install it. He, he turned around to his buddy, who's um, also a buddy of mine. He said, um, which end do I put on the floor? Uh -huh. And uh, his his buddy said, um, I think we should call a plumber. <laughs> or, or words of that effect and so on. So right. finally he did. He had it installed. And you're right. It did cost him a couple of hundred bucks. That's it. Yeah. And um, So worth it. And, and he's got a working toilet. And it's still working today. Right. But <laughs> anyway, but that's the whole thing. And when you, um, and I like the idea of the, of the big guys, the big box stores and so on. Um, for, I know we're not farming it out, but they're saying... Okay, who's the best at doing this kind of thing? 
So they hire you, contractor. Right. And um, your people do the, you know, the leg work work and and all that. And all the mystery shopping, too. That's right. I did a lot of that, too, just to check out who's saying what out there. And you're also willing to take the heat if something went wrong, too. Correct. I mean, that's the whole thing. So correct. So that leaves Home Depot smelling like a rose. But, and so they should because uh, they're very good at what they do, too. They're, um, they're, uh, and all the other box stores are pretty good as well. Selling products yeah. on the shelf. That's the business that they're in. That's it. That's it. And they'll admit that. They, they will. Say. And I know, um, for instance, um, uh, a guy, a friend of mine who owns a contracting company, and he's done a lot of work for some of the big guys. And they'll hire him for a certain length of time, uh, three months or whatever. And if he gets uh, ten of those a year, you know, he, he's he's a he's a cooking person. He's uh, really, and so um, people say, well, today everything's contracted out. Well, if you're running a sales organization that sells hardware, you know, you name it, that kind of thing, it pays you. It pays you to contract it out. You have to. Yeah. Well, I mean, you need those extra layers of I don't think you have a choice now and expertise no, exactly. and workers' exactly. compensation and all that. You need to layer those protections. So what happens then? Um, somebody uh, says, "Well, honey, we really need to renovate the bathroom." So um, if he went, uh, he or she or both go to Home Depot, they contract right that they, to they, you uh in, in some Not cases yes uh, in some but cases I mean, yes we we have some services that are national and there's some that are more regionalized okay right? yeah. yeah 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 but uh so therefore um they you, they basically deal with home depot but you have to go into their house or or a representative of, of your company has to go into their house just to check out <laughs> if everything is uh a okay and so on but, I mean, so it's a cooperative effort, and uh, it's a win-win for everybody, including the homeowner. I absolutely. Mean, yeah, absolutely. The homeowner is so protected. So um, let's talk about the rebates a little bit, too, sure. because uh, we're all interested, <clears throat> excuse me, in the government helping us out um, when it's something that they're into, and this government of Nova Scotia is into saving money on power, saving money on, uh, because our power bills are pretty high, saving money on um, uh, other utilities that we use. Um, And so why not give the homeowner a little um, edge here? Right, yeah. And get, and get... So uh, do the rebates vary, is, or or is it... Uh... They are on a case-by-case basis. Uh, okay. Right now what they say is there's up to $6,000 in cash incentive available to the homeowner to put the solar panels on, on your roof to self-power your home. And what we're finding uh, in the field is, and this, this is just an opinion right now uh, based on what I see, but I see uh, almost every proposal coming across my desk where the solar panels actually cover the entire electricity bill. And, really? and every customer that I've seen, they're getting the entire $6,000. But it is a case-by-case, case, of course. Maybe, you know, there's different, uh, maybe there's only two people in the house and you're not using much power, or, or maybe, you know, your, your, your home might not be ideally laid out for panels. So, or maybe there's extra work involved to kind of bring the house up to code to kind of accommodate it, that sort of thing. So it is a case-by-case. Case. But like I said, the, the majority of the ones that I see, uh, the panels will offset the entire bill. And, you know, the province uh, is uh, heavily incentivizing everyone to uh, get involved. Um, I, I was just reading that it seems that they're a little bit behind in their energy plan, and that has to do with uh, Churchill Falls and, and that sort of thing being a little bit behind. So they're having problems there, yes. So, so I think that um, the province is just taking things into its own hands and saying, hey, Let's get more people um, generating their own power because 
What that does is it creates an environment of localized distribution as opposed to uh, comparing it to, you know, like uh, transmission across far distances and importing power and that sort of thing. And if the province achieves its goal, um, it, it, it appears as though, um, you know, we'll have a smooth uh, transition in terms of when they, they t- they, they're going to remove those coal plants. That's the coal generation plants. And ideally, you know, they wouldn't want to take them offline and everyone's uh, prices spike. So there, in, in the plan, there is a stability uh, contingency there just to make sure that uh, people are protected. But historically speaking, electricity rates do continuously go up. If you if you go to the uh, Nova Scotia website, you know, you'll see in 2004, the price of electricity uh, then was a lot less than it is today. And around the world, that is the trend. Electricity rates just keep going up. And if you put panels on your house, you're no longer subject to paying those rates anymore. You're basically saying, hey, I'm generating my, my own electricity. And, and one more point, Frank, um, if more and more people got on board with this, it would save uh, billions in future upgrades uh, of the grid system. So that's why you've got Nova Scotia Power all on board with this and, you know, uh, the province and so on and so forth. So there's a lot of benefits. Absolutely. And uh, this, uh, when this um, uh, Labrador thing comes on stream, um, well, is it actually in Labrador, isn't it? This, uh, this um, Churchill Falls. Plant, Churchill Falls is in Labrador. Um, when it comes on stream, it's water power, we understand, but, you know, it, you, you still have to generate it. And that's going to that's gonna take a little uh, more from your purse. But um, the point is, with sun power, as I like to call it, um, do you, uh, you actually install this on the person's roof? Correct, uh, yes. yes. Um, so, so there's a bit of a process to it, if I could take a minute to kind of explain it. Take, um, I'll take as long as so you want, sir. Um, the the customer can go to homedepot.ca slash home services or just click the home services button, and then they fill out a, a, an expression of interest, just, hey, I'm interested in this. So what happens from that point is we do a Google Earth or Google Map imaging of the home um, to show the customer where the panels would be situated. And what's nice is there's no obligation uh, towards this process for quite some time. There's a lot of steps in the process before the customer can even get um, uh, committed. So we email them the document. It's very nicely laid out with some very good information, and it's easy to read. So then the customer says, yes, you know, I'm interested. Oh, my God. Um, you know, we offer this new 0% uh, interest rate where um, the customer actually doesn't have to invest their own capital. And this is really a game changer um, where, you know, traditionally if you wanted to, because they're expensive, right? Uh, traditionally you would have had to, you know, go get a loan or lay out your, your capital, uh, your own capital. But now we say to the customer, we'll fund the project. The sunshine is actually going to pay those panels off without the customer um, reaching into their pocket to make those payments. So more specifically, whatever they're going to be saving on their energy bill, the customer is just agreeing that they would take those savings and turn around and just pay towards the panels until they're paid, paid off. And it's just a question of how long is this going to take? Because every house has a bit of a different uh, load profile, they call it. I was just going to mention that because each house, uh, well, not every house is exactly the same, but some of them have very sloping roofs. Others have flat roofs. I know um, a friend of mine who had a flat roof uh, home, and he had nothing but problems with rain and so on because it wasn't, you know, the roof itself wasn't installed properly. I don't think it was, but uh, that's only my, my opinion. But but the, the sloping roof, some of them, they're old homes, and the person who's installing this has to get up there. Um, oh, definitely a safe, uh, some safety. Kind of, uh, oh, God, yeah. Sure. You just got to wear a helmet and all that kind of stuff. But, you know, once you get them in, then when can when can a person say, uh, gee, I'm saving myself a lot of money? You know. Right. So um, just to back up a little bit on the process, so the, okay. the customer has received the document. It, it shows the information. So now they say, okay, 
I'm interested in this. So at, at this point here, we would send out a field representative to do a physical inspection. We've got to actually see it in person now as opposed to just looking at a satellite shot. Right. And at this point here, though, the customer is still not committed. We're still just in a conversation. And that visit will typically um, uh, fine-tune that original offer because maybe there was a plumbing stack that we didn't see or, you know, maybe there's other things that, uh, um, you know, we, we, we discovered. And then we got a fine-tune offer. And then from that point, the customer typically st- wants to go ahead with it. We're, we're, we're extremely pleased with, with the reception in, in the market. Um, so from that point, if the customer wants to go ahead uh, in Nova Scotia, we have to apply to Nova Scotia Power for what we call a capacity check, or some people refer to it as a reservation. You have to ask the utility, is it okay if I put the panels on my house? And now the good news is, and this is just an arbitrary number, Frank, I don't have any statistics, but from my viewpoint, it looks like about 9 out of 10 applicants uh, get a yes from Nova Scotia Power. So when they get that yes, we'll say to them, hey, this is an amazing opportunity for you. You got your ticket because there is still that one out of ten where they say no. Let's sit down now and craft up, you know, sign up all the documents. And then, um, you know, we get get the process in motion. We do have to go get a permit from whatever township the customer lives in. And uh, and then there's still a number of steps uh, where uh, we have you know in the in the installation process where there's a whole bunch of sign offs like uh, Nova Scotia Power visits numerous times and signs off on every step and even when the panels are all installed and ready to go we're not the ones who turn them on or activate them it's actually Nova Scotia Power themselves uh, after the Electrical Safety Authority sign offs and all that right. they're the ones who come and uh, activate them so. You know, the customer is protected in a sense that, uh, you know, they're installed properly because that's very important, right? And then so to answer your question, when do you start saving? It's immediate. So it, it's like today. It's like it's today. Immediate. You turn them on. I mean, uh, you know, even in overcast, there, there's still some power there for sure. What's the, uh, I'm not belaboring this issue, but what's the tipping point, Andrew? When does the customer finally say, oh, God, you've sold me. Uh, let's do it. That. When does that yeah. kind of come so, in there? <laughs> I guess we're a little bit lucky because we're coming into the market a little bit uh, late after a lot of uh, you know good quality participants out there, right? Uh, what we're finding is that a lot of customers have already went around and got a bunch of quotes from a lot of people, and when you compare them all side by side, they all pretty look they look a lot similar, right? There's nobody really in the market that's charging a lot more or a lot less. It's all within a range, right? But what we're finding is that a lot of people just didn't pull the trigger on it, even, even though they 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 want to do it. And then along we come, kind of just at the right perfect time, it seems. Okay, all right, let's do it, right? So I, I suppose the you know the 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 big brand kind of referral um, definitely the customer feels uh, uh, I guess more comfortable with the fact that you know. Um, we're not comparing uh, Joe's electrical, and I'm, believe me, I'm not. You know, there's a lot of good work going on out there. Uh, I, I, I love people in this industry. In fact, when we do panels and people see them, it, it generates more buzz. Or when any of the competitors are out there doing it, it it's good for everyone. Competition is good for everyone. But we're, what we're finding, I guess, is we're a little bit blessed in a sense that there's been a lot of homework done by homeowners here uh, before we entered the market, which. Uh, you know, subsequently uh, became to our benefit. Well, uh, yeah. Now, uh, well, let me then um, ask you, um, if uh, a customer is interested, uh, you may have some potential customers listening to the sound of our voice. Sure. um, And they're saying, God, you know, that sounds like a good idea. How do they get in touch with you, or do they go to the Home Depot, or what, what's, uh, what's the, uh, the pecking order here? Yeah, well, it's, it's all up to the customer. I mean, I'm always open to receiving phone calls. Like, is it okay if I gave my phone number out here right Absolutely. now? Absolutely. All right, so anyone can, in the province can call me at any time. It's 902-499-4078, and I'll repeat it again, just yes, like please. a commercial. If you will, uh, please. Yes. 902-499-4078, and just to have a conversation, I'm... I'm always open. Now, mind you, if i got 30 people calling me at the same time, it will go to voicemail. I promise to call you back. But And then, of course, you know, what most people do is they go to the Home Depot website. It's homedepot.ca. 
slash home services, or you would just click um, the home services logo on there, and then it'll ask you, well, what are you looking for? So all you do is you start, you start typing solar panels, and then you'll see it pop up. You click it, and then you just put your name and your address in there, and then you submit it, and then uh, that gets the ball rolling in a sense. But, I, again, I, I tell everyone there's a long conversation to be had before you get obligated to this, and that's a real safe kind of environment to have a discussion in and um, yeah it's uh, I'll tell you one last thing Frank I, I've been doing things for many many years and you know at this stage of my life where I get to represent you know a, a product that is you know good good for everyone and um, you know just it's it's so exciting in a sense that you know most of the people that we end up talking to uh, actually go for it and you know in a sales world that's kind of like a dream come true well, it is. It's like, uh, my God, I'm actually talking to people about upgrading their uh, electricity in their house and uh, doing it with the sun, for God's sake. I mean, that's, <laughs> gee, it's a win-win. I still think this is a win-win. Um, and uh, if I were still in my house, I'd be, uh, I'd be talking to you after the show. But... Uh, we're in the apartment building now, but uh, what time are you here till today? I'm here till two. Okay. Yeah, I was going to say let's go for some lunch. <laughs> yeah. Well, we can always have you know something McDonald's is just not far away, and Tim Hortons is right across the street. So I mean, <laughs> we do. I'd love to do that someday with you, though. Yeah, I'd love really, to, yeah. seriously, I'd I'd love to have lunch with you if you if you have the time. Absolutely. You're going to be a busy guy. Uh, there's a gentleman named uh, Andrew Crow from uh, the Home Depot who had heard I was coming to see you today, and he uh, he had mentioned that he used to work at a gas station when he was, uh, I guess, a young lad, and I guess you went to that gas station. Uh, Quite frequently, Frank, and so he he was quite excited actually. So you're uh, well. Say you know, say hi to Andrew. Might I'm, might bring him along. I'm sure I would uh, recognize him by some, uh, but uh, seriously, uh, I think that um, uh, solar power is uh, going is a winner. I mean, I think it's just a winner, and um, I think if people contact you or get into the Home Depot. Um, and check it out a little more, that would be good. Now, uh, let me tell the audience, too, that uh, we have your uh, phone number here, or do we? Uh, no, you'll have to leave it with me, though, because no I may get calls on this one, no Andrew. Problem. Um, because if you didn't hear the whole program, and it's too bad, you missed it, but uh, <laughs> but we will, um, we will talk to you again on the Absolutely. air, my friend. I, I would love you to come back because Any there's, time, Frank. there's a few more things I want to cover on that. And on behalf of uh, all those folks who were in their, say, 60s, 70s, and still in their home and are thinking, God, it costs an awful lot to heat this damn home. It costs a lot to uh, generate power or to, to I pay a big power bill. You know, I'd love to do something like that. So, surprisingly, uh, contrary to popular belief, Frank, we're getting a lot of seniors. Oh yeah, a lot, a lot of seniors. Oh no, I mean seniors. Seniors are getting pretty good with computers now. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. absolutely. <clears throat> and uh, uh, that's a good thing because uh, without it, they couldn't go get into our fifty-fifty fundraiser. But anyway, uh, that was that was a sneaky way to plug. Love it, Frank. Plug love it, fundraiser. Anyway, Andrew, thank you very much for uh, coming in. It was great. I uh, enjoyed this uh, immensely, and I still want to know more about uh, solar panels. By the way, wh who makes the solar panels? Uh, they're made by a company called uh, Canadian Solar. Um, so this is, a, 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 I believe they're based out of Waterloo, Ontario. Really? Now, different panels are, are made in different countries. There's a new one... Um, uh, it's 440 watts. Now, 10 years ago, a panel that same size would have been between 90 to 120 watts. Um, so this particular one is actually uh, coming from Thailand. Okay. Um, but it is the, t they call it a top tier, uh, single tier, they call it. Uh, it you know, in short, uh, long story short, we're talking about the best solar panel in the world right now. And that's what we're using. And may I uh, may I end by saying... Uh, we were, I've been in Germany a couple of times in the last 10 years, and uh, Germany is leading the way in both solar and wind energy. 
is there are windmills all, all over the place in Germany. They're a world leader. And they are a world leader. And, um, and uh, so any time, if uh, you folks who are listening, you, you might get to Germany, check that out. Check it out and, and come back and say to your politicians, why aren't we doing this? <laughs> you know, that kind of thing. So um, good luck, and I'll uh, talk to you very soon, I hope. It's been an honor, Frank, to talk oh. to you. Well, Andrew, it, it's good. I'm uh, this this uh, old guy who started doing interviews when I was about eighteen. Uh, you know, is is um, this is um, uh, an interview that I've really enjoyed. So. All right, thanks so much. Thank you, Andrew. Andrew Spurvey, and uh, he is um, chief marketing officer of QuickContractors.com Incorporated. And that's Frank Cameron Presents, and this is Lloyd Price to start us off. They have these slopes on them, and... Uh